What's up everyone? Welcome to your workout today. So proud of you for showing up. We're gonna get you set up and get you started so you can rock in and out of this workout. Nice long warm up and a nice long cool down, but some good work in between. We've got an AMRAP style today, meaning you're gonna have four minutes and two exercises to do as many rounds of those two exercises as you can, anywhere between eight to 10 reps per exercise. Most of the workout will be an ab and an arm exercise. In that last part of the workout, you'll see just arms or just abs to finish it out. So grab your dumbbells, grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and let's get started. All right, let's open and cross your arms, wide step. Reach your fingertips back. We've got a three minute warm up and a nice long three minute cool down today as well. Mobility is a huge focus in this program. So range of motion will be your focal point today as well as a little bit of endurance. Good job, turn it over, big swings backwards. Four, three, two, same arm switch directions and we go forward. Good, three, two, and swing it to the other side. Open it up and let's go backwards. In your work periods today, I want you to think about breathing, getting full range of motion, and acknowledging when your form starts to fail. I want you to drop down so you can continue to move. Switch directions with your arm. Throughout your core work, if it's a sit-up motion or if it's a lower core move, Breathe. All right, all right, this arm crosses the body and open. Make sure there's a breath associated with each rep. Good job. Other arm across your body, three, two, one, and arms go right past your body and up. Stretch out the lats a little bit. Four, three, Two, one, stay right here. Hands come down right in front of your knees. Just a little bend, you're gonna open up one arm and switch. Good, keep switching. Opening up your thoracic cavity here. Big twist in the core. One more, each arm, here we go. Last one. Open and down and make your way down, hands and knees onto the mat. Shift your hips back and forward. Again, back, forward. One more, take them back and drop it down forward. Good work. All right, last couple stretches. Take your arms, slide it out to the side, drop your shoulder, and then look away. Opening up the chest, the anterior delt, and the bicep. Good. Same thing on the other side. And we're gonna get started with our first circuit. We've got eight reps, push-ups with a heel tap and bicycles, all right? Two, one, let's go. Good job, but if you're using um, a sweat towel, it'll help a little bit of cushion on your back. Good job. And for your push-ups, if you need to drop to your knees, that's okay, totally fine. And the extra heel tap at the top helps you engage your core at the top so you're not letting your stomach kind of drop.
Great job. 90 seconds down. You're in minute number two right now. Good job. You got a minute 45 left in this one. But then we'll pick up some weights after this, okay? Just over a minute to go, come on. Great job, 30 seconds. Last 15, come on. And then we'll get a one minute breather, so give me all you got here, let's go. job. One minute to grab water. Also, feel free. If you want to keep your heart rate up, jog in place, go jacks, anything like that. Totally fine. All right, we're going to bump it up. 10 reps of everything moving forward, okay? Hammer curls and straight arm sit-ups are your next two moves. So I'm actually gonna use this for my back. Hammer curls, 10 total, five each arm. One, two, three. Straight arm sit-ups, you're gonna hold a dumbbell over your chest. As you sit up, head goes through your arms. 15 seconds, grab the weights you wanna start with. Hammer curls are up first. Five. Ready? Exhale, let's go. Good job. First minute is done. Let's keep rocking, okay?
And you can use different weights if you're not ready for a weight for your setups. You're just reaching your arms up to the ceiling. Are you breathing? Just check it in. Stay focused, good job. All right, keep it moving. We got 60 seconds, come on. seconds come on give me all you got here I know you're in your zone I know you're feeling every rep here breathe seconds again feel free to jog in place anything you want to do to keep your heart rate up it's totally fine or if you just want to breathe and rest also fine next circuit tricep skull crushers and suitcases so we'll be laying on the ground for this one okay so good chance to kind of get your heart rate up jogging in place skull crushers I want you to try and do one dumbbell over your head if you don't have one dumbbell that's challenging enough or doesn't feel good for your hands Let's take it two dumbbells, okay? Right beside your head and then full extension past your head. Suitcases are just gonna open and tuck. All right, 13 seconds. All right, when I say past your head, try not to have your dumbbells over your chest too much. Let's go. 10 reps of both. Great job. Finishing up minute number one right here. Minute two, let's go. Keep your elbows nice and tall.
You're in minute number three. Great job. Push through the burn, push through the fatigue. You're one big deep breath away from a really good rep. Breathe, go. Great job. Just under a minute to go. How you doing? Thumbs up if good, if you don't have a dumbbell in your hand. Okay, keep it going. Under 30 seconds, come on. Mental thumbs up, if anything, I got this, I got this. Come on. Nice job, eight, seven. Two, one, and rest. 60 seconds, great job. Grab water. Whew. All right, one more arm and ab combo. You're doing great. A lot of times in these type of workouts where you have two exercises, you're switching back and forth and you just go, then you breathe, it tends to go by a little quicker. So good news, we're rocking into the second half, okay? All right, we've got single arm push press. 10, five each arm, okay? So you're gonna go a little heavier. Dip, punch, dip, punch, dip, punch. Lock it out, bring it here before you dip again. And then hip taps. You're in a plank position on your forearm. One, one, two, two, three, three. So 10 each side there, all right? Push press, let's go. Great job. This one's gonna go by pretty quickly because the push press is so quick. Okay, so take the time to go up and wait if you're able. Good job on both of these. Strong core. Good job. 
Two minutes down, you're in minute number three out of four. One minute. Let's go, let's go. Good job. Another circuit down. We're done with four. We're moving on. You doing good? Okay. Whew. Three more big circuits. This time we're tapping into two upper body moves, okay? Both of them for your bicep. So we're gonna go bro curls or tricep supported curls. 10 on the right, 10 on the left. You're gonna put your tricep right here against the inside of your thigh, curl, okay? If you're sitting on a bench or something like that, totally fine, same kind of motion right here, all right? 10 each arm, grab the weight or weights that you think you wanna use and we'll go for it, okay? Three, two, let's go. First minute down. This one is a total circuit of patience. Good job. Unilateral work is very humbling, but very important. Great job.
Great job, I know, stay here. You got about 90 seconds to go. Focus, focus, focus. Last 60. Good job. If you feel like I don't even feel a connection with my bicep anymore, it's burnt out, it's on fire, just keep that mo motion movement going. Okay, pin your elbow back and just think my wrist is getting closer to my shoulder. job. You got 60 seconds. Breathe. Shake your arms out. Walk around. Jog. Jumping jacks. Or just let your arms rest. We're moving on to a tricep circuit. Then we'll finish with core. Okay. So we're going heavy tricep and then lighter tricep. Overhead extensions. Split stance, elbows are right over your shoulders. You're gonna bend, push. I want you to feel the stretch here when you bend behind your, uh, behind your head. So don't let your arms stay out front here and don't just stay up here. Stretch and then full extension. Range of motion, remember this, stretch. Then kickbacks, same thing, full range of motion. Let's go, six, five. 10 of each, come on. First minute done, good job. There'll be a lot of times in the circuit where you need to shake out and that's fine. Thirty seconds into your second minute. Come on, you're doing great. Great job focusing. Triceps are a part of the arm we really have to focus on, especially just using dumbbells like this. It's crucial. Okay.
90 seconds left in this one as of right now. Come on. Good job. We're right there. You got 50 seconds, come on. And then we'll finish out with some core. here oh goodness good job on that one I know that burned or it did for me at least I hope you're pushing hard the two big basic movements for your core here sit-ups and leg raises ten of each if you can for your sit-ups throw a weight on your chest for leg raises a safe option there would be to grab a stability ball grip it between your ankles if you have that option if not you can try to kind of clamp a dumbbell here between your legs, but if that's not an option right now, I feel like that's kind of a tougher concept to grasp. I would also incorporate overhead positioning for a more advanced option and a hip raise. Okay, so 10 sit-ups, 10 leg raises, four minutes, and we've made it. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Three, two, one, come on. Come on, keep progressing, keep challenging yourself. Ninety seconds down.
Good job. Just under one minute to go. Come on. Seven. Two. And rest. You've made it to your cool down. I've got two and a half more minutes here with you in your workout intentionally incorporating a longer rest period. So come onto your hands and knees, reach your hips back. Don't leave yet. Just stay right here. This is a part of your 40 minutes, all right? Two and a half minutes and you can head out. I promise you're gonna feel better for doing this stretch after this and tomorrow. Lift your hips up, drop it down. Great work. Open your chest, I just want you to stay focused on this for a second, stay present right here. Bring it back into your big inhale. Exhale through your mouth. One more. Come into quadruped position, hands and knees. Big inhale, drop your belly down. Exhale, lift it up. Again. Exhale up. One more, inhale. Exhale up. Walk it back to your knees. One knee is out front. Shift it forward. Opening up the hip here. Good job. Same side arm as your back leg, lift it up. Think about pulling your belly button with a string like you're pulling it up like a zipper and then lean forward. Okay, what I wanna make sure of is that you're not here leaning forward so we don't get as much stretch in a hinged hip. We want it to be open. Lean over away from that hip now, nice and tall in your spine. Great job. Switch legs, same thing. Zip your belly button up, and then shift it forward. Lean over and away. Good job. Make your way up to standing however you can. Arms across your chest and then dip it down. And switch, arm across your chest, dip it down. Both hands up, pull over. And switch. Good, drop your arms down, grab onto your fingers, pull them back towards your elbow on one side. And as the clock rolls out to zero, switch it over to the other hand. And before you head out, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to our channel to keep you on track, make you accountable to the goals that you have for yourself. I'm going to keep showing up here for you. By subscribing, you will be giving yourself an even better chance to get to your goals because of your consistency. That's all it takes. Headstrong consistency. Okay. If you need a little bit more help on the nutrition side of things, join me in the Sydney squad. You can check out all that info in the description below, but keep showing up here. Subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. It'll keep showing up for you. I will keep showing up for you and we'll get you closer to your goals with every single workout. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Great job today. I am so proud of you as always.